What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Stray walkthrough gameplay series. In today's episode, we are going to go through the entire Midtown section of the game. This is chapter 10. So, um, let's go up here. For you guys who are just tuning in, this is a 100% walkthrough. I'll go through every single collectible in the game and and most of the trophies. Since there are a couple of trophies, well, two trophies that are time-consuming and um, not really fun to display <laughs> at um, a long video, you know. One is to beat this game in less than two hours, and the other is to sleep for a day. And that's one hour in-game time, so... Yeah, mm, I don't think... Um, that's something we'll do in this series, but other than that, um, we'll get everything else. I know that I keep mentioning this, but it's good to do so, since most of you guys probably, m well, maybe, want to know how to do things. And those are the things we're not going to do, so... Alright, um, let's go up here. That was a memory we got, just automatically. So now, if you have been following this series, let me just grab this memory first. There we go. Yeah, if you have been following this series, you should get uh, the trophy for nuzzling up to five robots. Um, right now. Here's our next nuzzle. Don't worry, there's plenty of um, nuzzle opportunities in this chapter, so if this didn't work for you, I'm most certain that the others will, so, yeah. Let me just go up here. Here's another one we can nuzzle up to. I'll show you guys the nuzzle opportunities. Opportunities as well, sorry. <laughs> um, here's another one, and here is our first scratching opportunity for this chapter. And this is for the, tr you know, there's a trophy for scratching in each and every chapter in the game, so there you go. We only need two more. Um, so, we'll go this way. And as soon as we get through here, we have officially reached Midtown. And there you go. We should get a gold trophy for this as well. Just for reaching this area. Here's an another nuzzle opportunity. And if we go in here... What's up, man? Yeah, if we, if we go in here, there is um, a badge we can get. So, if you translate this, it says... Yeah, code 8542. Yeah, since it is backwards... It does seem like the code is the same for each playthrough, so that's good. And there you go. Cat badge. <laughs> right. There is two. Well, I think it is one or two more badges in this. No, nah, just one more. One more badge in this um, chapter. And that is the final one as well, I believe. So if we go this way, we'll get to another memory. Yeah, there you go. Alright. 77. That's good. 
We'll probably hit around, uh, well, over 90% once we're done with this chapter, by the way. There's a lot of memories. So, let's go down here. I always seem to have trouble when, with um, finding stuff in this... Well, in this chapter, to be fair. <laughs> a lot of things seems, you know... Well, it... It looks similar to other things, so... Yeah, but there you go. Another memory. The barber shop. Alright, um, now what? I'm, if I do stand still, uh, that's because I'm taking a look at my notes. And um, our next spot is... Hold on. Um, yeah, this way. Yeah, up here. Up here, and up. There we go. Another memory. Perfect. Honestly, it's not that much left of this series. We only have two more chapters after this, and that will probably be in the same episode. So, the next episode could be the last and final one for this series. Um, yeah, we'll see. Now, we'll jump back down. And I do believe that... Um, the goal is to find Clementine, for now, but we need to nuzzle up to these two first. There you go, that's two more. And we can also nuzzle up to this police officer. I think it's a police officer. Looks like it, could be wrong, but yeah, that's three more nuzzle opportunities. Now... Oh yeah, in here. Um, we need to get up here somewhere. There's another memory. Hold on. Where the hell is it? I always seem to have trouble with this. This part right here. There's an easy way up around here somewhere. Come on, man. Not here. No. Um. Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> See? So easy. And I always go in way too far and miss it completely. Oh, man. For that... Cannot happen for my speed run later. Let's see. Oh yeah, another badge, not a memory. Never mind. Have to take a quick look at the notes. <laughs> Police badge. Now we only need one more, and that should be it. Um. Now we'll just go back down. We'll get the final badge in a couple of minutes, uh, as soon as we get into the factory. You guys will know what I mean soon enough. Um, yeah, we'll go down here. And now, I think it's time that we meet up with Clementine. And that's this way. Up here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. And through here. There you go.
Okay, so as soon as we have followed Clementine, we'll get some instructions um, on what to do next. And that will become the more difficult part, I guess, for this episode. We need a battery, atomic battery, and that's inside the Neko Corporate Corporation. Um, and that's the factory I mentioned earlier. All right. Yeah, there we go. Factory. Okay. So the thing we'll do now is jump back down, get all the way to the bottom. Oh, here's a camera. We'll get to this in a couple of seconds. Um, just jump off. That's one camera down. Remember that. All right. So this guy wants us to destroy three cameras, that's one down already, and um, let's see, the easiest way up there is this way. camera is over there. There you go. Now, how do I get to the third camera? The easiest way. Um... Yeah, I made a mistake. Crap. It's where I, where I was earlier. Yep. God damn it. By the way, if you guys are interested in checking out the previous episodes of this series, this 100% walkthrough, there will be a link down in the description as usual. Full playlist down below. Check it out. Um, yeah, we'll jump down here and here we go. Do not do this mistake, I seem to do every single time I do this, so... Just... This is pretty much right from the second camera. And there you go. That's all of them down. Let's jump back down and talk to... The guy with the cassette tapes. And there we go. All right, we need this cassette tape for um, what's about to come. And I'll show you guys in just a second. Now we need to find Blazer. Blazar. Yeah. Um, before we. Yeah, this is the way. That way. All right, he's down here. There he is. Okay, so the cassette tip we got earlier is for this part right here. We need it for a distraction. 
So we're going to go right here and put the cassette in. There we go. And now we can grab the jacket. There we go. So now we need a hat as well. Um, oh man. Where the hell is... Here's the hat store. We can't go in. Hold up. The thing is, I haven't written down anything in <laughs> my notepad right here on where to go next. This is not good. Hold on. There's a bar we need to go to. Uh, it's up. Yeah, it has to be up here. Surely. Oh my god. Yeah, it's this way, I think. Yeah, that's the bar. So, if we go through here into the back, there is a robot sleeping. We need to wake him up. So, we'll go over here. And there we go. All we need now is to follow this guy, and he will carry us into the hat store. So just follow him until you see a crate, jump into the crate, and he will, you know, he doesn't, they won't notice that we're in there. Yeah, I think that I've explored pretty much most, well, m most of the game at least. I mean, I've found every single collectible. And everything there is to it. Maybe I have missed a couple of Easter eggs, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Alright, so this guy will drop the box right here. We'll wait for him to go outside before we jump out. Just to be safe. I actually haven't jumped out as soon as he'd, you know, leave us here. I do not want to risk anything, so yeah, grab the hat fast and um, let's go. Now, we'll go back to Blazer and. Um, then things will get interesting. We'll get into that as soon as we enter the factory. All right. Alright then, so, for this part right here, 
there is a trophy for not getting spotted by these robots here that are called Sentinels. So we'll go this way. Just be patient, you know, uh, make sure that um, that little blue light doesn't turn yellow or red and you should be all good. It isn't that difficult. Just need to know where they go and that's it. So there we go. Oh, okay. That was a bit close, but um, we're good. Now, uh, speak to this robot. He lost keys down there. We're going to go and get him for him. Since he will reward us with the last badge for this series. So, yeah. I'll show you guys how to get down there. Hold on. Turn around, thank you, and now we go. Open up. And now we'll go back this way. And make sure to follow this crate. Well, these crates right here that are, you know, hanging, they are blocking the site for the sentinels, so that's good. So this is how to get past them. And over here is, well, here's the keys. There you go. Now we just need to get back to him. We can do that this way. So, if you have been following this series, as soon as you open up this door, right here... You can go back to the robot. Um, so just wait for this fella to turn around. Go back, come on. And here we go. Speak to the worker. Give him the keys. And here we go. The last badge. And if you guys have been following this series, you should get a trophy for that. For that. So that's good. So now, um, the easiest way to get back to the main objective is not going this way. It's a bit difficult, to be fair, to go that way, so we'll go around and start from the beginning with these crates over here. way is to go this way just ignore the first sentinel and now just follow the shadow and we're good that's pretty much it when it comes to the sentinels in this part of the factory well in the factory in general to be fair don't really have any more sentinels to deal with and uh, not here without going into details. So, the battery. Here it is. Just need to unlock that thing. So the thing we'll do now is activate this 
follows us over here. And just do what I do, pretty much. Open up this door. By the way, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Um, like I said, I don't think we have any more... We'll have one more episode after this, and that will probably be it for this series. Um, yeah. So that's nice. Come on. There we go. And now for the third, we'll just roll over the barrel this way. And there you go. There's the battery. Yeah, so the Sentinels are now, you know, on red alert. The good thing is that we can actually escape from this factory this way. Jump over here. Oh yeah, we do have another memory coming up through here. So this is the memory for the Sentinels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 88%. Not bad. Alright, so, um, the next part is that we're going to go back to Clementine's apartment. The thing is, we have sentinels here now. So, again, do not get noticed, just ignore him. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. And up here. This is not that difficult, to be fair. Uh, I mean, if you manage to avoid the Sentinels completely at the factory, you should be golden. Since, um, yeah, that Sentinel right there does not seem to move at all, for example. The only place I think is a bit risky when it comes to these Sentinels is right here. So, um, wait for it to come, to come back. Do not go through there. So as soon as this sentinel turns its back, we'll go. Jump down. Uh, jump down. And there we go. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go into the apartment. We need to go one up one more floor by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, up here. This sentinel does not turn its back either. I waited for a couple of minutes and nothing happens, so... Uh, I've tried this out multiple times, so... Yeah, we're good. Just go through here. And here's the apartment. Okay. So... Um, look at the clues. All right, so we need to find four different things in this apartment um, that contains clues. The first one is right here. Okay. 
Yeah, Clementina has gone somewhere with someone. So we'll drag this down. And up here is the second clue. Yeah. I'm with Blazer. The third clue is right here. Come to... Yeah, the fourth one is up here. Yeah, I'm with Blazer, come to the nightclub. Well, come to nightclub. Alright. So now we can leave this area and head towards the nightclub. But before we do that, we still need to take care of this part. Getting out of here without getting noticed. So, over here... Now, just to be safe, wait for the sentinel to, you know, look away one more time. And now we go. And you should be getting a trophy right here. There we go. That's another gold trophy done. Um, the thing we'll do now is go towards the nightclub, and that's this way. We actually have one more, you know, fun little trophy before the end of this chapter. And a another memory. So, speak to this guy. Alex, how convenient. <laughs> um, Alright. So, if we go this way... There's a little elevator down to the basement, and here is another memory. Yeah. We got 92%. That's not bad at all. Damn. Okay. Now, for the fun stuff. Um, so, uh, our next thing is we'll go and grab that trophy I mentioned. So, we need to act as a DJ. Uh, we don't... Hold on. There's something I'm missing here. Hold on. I'm just... Oh yeah. Never mind. So, it's been... I did this in my first run. This is my third run through this game. So, keep that in mind. Um, over here. Grab this little disc, put it on, now we go, scratch, scratch, and this should give you guys a trophy as well. Now, for the fun part, when it comes to the main objective, grab this drink, and talk to this fella, right here. Got your drink. There you go. We'll use this lever to put it right here. And there we go. Yeah. 
push. Oh, pull that lever, come on. Thank you. Push this button. Do not touch the one at, at the middle. Push, just push this one as well. Well, in the middle. And there's Blazer. And this will pretty much conclude uh, this episode. Once we get through this, there will be a cutscene. So yeah. Midtown part is done.